Jim. I just wanted to follow up on, uh, on Sarah's question from NPR. She asked you about Ivanka Trump's statement that the press is not the enemy of the people. And she asked you whether or not the press is the enemy of the people. You read off a laundry list of your concerns about the press and, and things that you feel like are misreported, but you did not say that the press is not the enemy of the people. And I, I, I think it would be a good thing if you were to say right here uh, at this briefing that the press, the people who are gathered in this room right now, uh, doing their jobs every day, asking questions of officials like the ones you brought forward earlier, are not the enemy of the people. I, I think we we deserve that. I think the president has made his position known. I also think it's Would you ironic. Mind telling us, I'm, I'm Sarah, trying to answer you your question. Okay, well, I, I it, politely waited, and I even called on you, despite the fact that you interrupted me while calling on your colleague. Well, you I said it's ironic, question, which is why yes. I interrupted. I'm trying. But if you if you finish, because if you would not mind letting me have a follow up, that would be fine. But it's ironic. Jim, uh, that not only you and the media attack the president for his rhetoric uh, when they frequently lower the level of conversation in this country. Repeatedly, repeatedly, the media resorts to personal attacks without any content other than to incite anger. Uh, the media has attacked me personally on a number of occasions, including your own network, said I should be harassed as a life sentence, that I should be choked. ICE officials are not welcomed in their place of worship and personal information is shared on the internet. When I was hosted by the Correspondents Association, of which almost all of you are members of, you brought a comedian up to attack my appearance and call me a traitor to my own gender. In fact, as I know, um, I'm as far as I know, I'm the first press secretary in the history of the United States that's required secret service protection. Well, the media the continues to ratchet Apple's up the verbal Apple's assault Apple's against Apple's the Apple's president Apple's and everyone in this administration. And certainly we have a role to play, but the media has a role to play for the discourse in this country as well. And, and sir, if you don't mind, if I, if, wait, hold on, if I may follow up, if I may follow up, excuse me, you did not say in the course of those remarks that you just made that the press is not the enemy of the people. Are we to take it from what you just said? We all get put through the ringer. We all get put in the meat grinder in this town, and you're no exception. And I'm sorry that that happened to you. I wish that that, that had not happened. But for, for the sake of this, this room, the people who are in this room, this democracy, this country, all the people around the world are watching what you're saying, Sarah, and the White House for the United States of America, the President of the United States should not refer to us as the enemy of the people. His own daughter acknowledges that, and all I'm asking you to do, Sarah, is to acknowledge that right now and right here. I, I appreciate your passion. I share it. Um, I've addressed this question. I've addressed my personal feelings. I'm here to speak on behalf of the president. He's made his comments clear. Sarah, yeah, so on, 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 